In this video, we're going to go over how to do cross tabulation or cross tab analysis. We use cross tab to see if there is a relationship between two categorical variables and categorical variables are the only ones that can be used when doing cross tab. So let's open our survey and see which variables we want to look at first. In this first example, we're going to look at gender and whether or not someone has taken a fitness class at AFC in the last 30 days. So if we go ahead and open our data set, again, we're going to create a new worksheet. I want to copy over gender and classes. When doing cross tab, again, we're going to use the pivot table function in Excel. So we're going to go ahead and build our pivot table. And in the case of cross tab, the range of our data is going to include both columns, including the names of the columns. So just keep scrolling down until the data stops. Select OK. And you're going to want to drag one field name into columns. So we'll put gender in columns and then classes in rows. Doesn't matter which one you do in either place. And for values, you only want to move one of the field names into the values box. In this example, I'm going to put classes in the values box. And again, we want to always, we want to always make sure that it's set to count. So click the little I to change it. And once that's set, we're going to close out of our pivot table builder. And for the sake of this analysis, we are going to ignore this blank column right here. We won't be using it anymore in the analysis. The next thing that we have to do is figure out what the p-value is so we can see if there is a significant or non-significant relationship between these two variables. To do this, we need to open up the online chi-square calculator. The link for this can be found on Canvas. This is what the website's going to look like. You want to scroll down to where it says data entry right here. And for this, we have two rows and two columns since we are ignoring the blank column. And you're just going to want to enter the data in the spreadsheet. So we have 41, 124, 4, and 53. Once you do that, hit calculate and it'll give you your p-value. And we see that our p-value here is 0 0.007. And since it's less than 0 0.05, we can see that there is a significant relationship between these two variables. We'll go ahead and do one more. In the second example, we'll look at whether or not someone was referred to AFC by a doctor impacts whether or not they use the therapy pool. So let's make a new worksheet and we're going to copy over doctor and pool. We're going to build our pivot table, again, including both columns and the name of the column. And keep highlighting until the data stops. Select OK. We'll put doctor in columns and pool in rows. And then I'm going to put pool in the values box. Again, let's change it to make sure it's set to count. And once our pivot table is built, We'll go back to our online calculator, hit reset. Again, we have two rows and two columns and enter the data. So we have 107, 20, 70, and 34. Hit calculate. And 0 0.0041 is our p-value. Again, it's less than 0 0.05, meaning that there is a significant relationship between these two variables. And that's all we're going to cover for cross-tab analysis. In the next video, we'll go over how to do an independent sample t-test.